Now, some dinner ideas. If you're looking for a good one, you're in luck. We have three of the best cooks in the biz this morning. Top chef judges Tom Colicchio, Gail Simmons, and brand new host Kristen Kish are all with us. With everything from appetizers to entrees to desserts. Yes, but there's a little twist. Today happened to be National Cheese Doodle Day. Didn't know there was such a thing, but it is. National Cheese Doodle Day. So we challenged them to get a cheesy crunch yeah. into every course. Yes. And you know, and in another what could twist, go wrong? in another twist, we're gonna start with Kristen because we're gonna start with dessert first. Okay, like that. Okay, this is an ice cream sundae with cheese doodles. Obviously. How right. are you doing that? In the same way that you think of caramel corn and the cheddar popcorn in the, the same bag. Uh -huh. I don't know if you grew up in the Midwest, but very much in Michigan. In Chicago, there's a place you called Garrett's. You mix Garrett's. it up, yeah. Yep. Right? And so I was like, well, why don't we just do that all in one bite? So you essentially just make a caramel, brown sugar, corn syrup, butter, and you boil that all together. That's not going to come out, so we're going to leave it. And then we're going to add a little bit of baking powder. Now, the baking powder, or baking soda, rather, uh, lightens it up, aerates it a little bit. Okay. So when you stir it all in there, right? In a perfect world, this would be liquid. Yeah. Right? So let's just up. pretend it is. It's yeah. not. So we go like that. Pour it on top. Mix of the it all together. Food. Throw it in the oven for about That's 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. You need 30 minutes for that. You do. Oh, so okay. it helps solidify the caramel. So when you bite into it, hopefully oh, so it doesn't it's stick crunch. to your teeth. Okay. And then because ice cream sundae needs peanuts, chocolate. Oh yeah, you gotta have chocolate. A little bit of sea salt. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I and like then, your mix of, of the flavors. And what uh, is that? This is whipped cream with vanilla pudding oh. mix because we were in Wisconsin what? with custard. Oh good. yeah. Vanilla yeah. pudding yeah. mix in. And then There's you top it. sugar in there. Yeah. And then you <laughs> top it with all the cheese doodles, caramelized, and you Bam. have a little ice cream wow. sundae. And that's what nice. we got. That's and, what we got. All right. And so Kristen, this is great though because this is your first season hosting this show. It is. You won season 10. I did. So you won season 10. What's it like being on this side? of it now so much better I forgot what it feels like <laughs> to have to cook in front of people so I'm like a little nervous um, no but it's much better I love sitting next to them and spending the days with Tom and Gail I love All it right. you guys are a great mix as incredible. is my entree what you got Gail is going to give us our entree it's, it's, it's a twist if you will on chicken milanese one of my yeah. favorite yeah. Yeah. I mean, chicken milanese or like a really good chicken schnitzel is a staple in my house. It's great for everyone. I love it. I serve it with like big, bright, crunchy salads. Yes. And I figured, why not? You know, okay. usually milanese has doodles. lots of Parmesan oh. in it. Um, so I just use cheese doodles instead, obviously. We appreciate. I have chicken cutlets that I've pounded really thinly. You want to get in yep. there. I'm also going to just put a little bit of salt in the flour. Oh, okay. Exactly. You want to make sure. Season everything. You're going to flip it around. I'm going to whisk with a yeah, little please. salt my eggs. And it's just basically a very standard mix. So okay. whisk these, get the egg in. in there, do it, do it, do it. And then, oh, hold on, oh. wait, wait, wait for Be it. Patience. I've got some chilies because I'm going to do a cheesy <laughs> You tell that to the control room. <laughs> there you go. You're right, you're right, control room. Uh, hold on, let me give it a whisk. Uh, I say with love, I'm just going to keep us on time. Of course, <laughs> lemon zest, chilies, panko breadcrumbs, cheese doodles. There you oh my go. Gosh, it smells so good. Uh, yeah, there you lemon go. Lemon zest is is a it really nice nice addition. Makes it a little fresh, a little yeah. bright. With so look at that. And then you that put it right in awesome. what you hope is a sizzling yeah. pan. <laughs> so we, our, our pan is not quite leave sizzling. Leave that. Just leave that exactly. It would be like this. Yep. It comes out brown and crispy and cheesy. I've got a salad with some parsley. Can I just ask you a yes. question? When you're doing your milanese, yeah. how long do you do in the, in the you pan? You want to keep the, you've pounded it thin so the chicken's going to cook quickly. Really quick. So are we talking one minute? And do you flip? Probably two, yes, you flip. Two one minutes one? on each side. Oh, two, two. I would say okay. you want chicken to be cooked all the way through. Yes, I have a one little does. Rizzicchio salad with some lemon juice, olive oil. And you added onions. a twist. You added some apples in there. I added apples and celery just to I make love it the taste crunch. nice. Yep. And I pile it on top. And just to enforce that cheesiness, whoa. A little bit. I'm putting of... some beautiful shaved Parmesan on top. Nicely done. Ah. Cheese doodle milanese. I mean, you nailed it. Well, this is your way. It's perfect to have the cheese doodles because. This new season, Tom, was filmed yeah. in, in Wisconsin. In the cheese capital the of the world. Cheese capital yeah. of the world. Yeah. Okay, what kind of challenges are they going to face this year? 
Oh, there'll be some cheese. There will be cheese. Okay. Be cheese. <laughs> not, not necessarily cheese heads, but but there will be cheese. Oh. Yeah, we did a cheese fest. It was actually really cool. Um, so anyway, this, this and, and here we got the burrata tomato. Yeah. So uh, tomato in the off season, people fill up tomatoes, but the off season not so good fresh. So we roast these. Mm -hmm. uh, some olive oil. Um, just take garlic. You don't even have to you know peel it. Just throw it in oh, there. Really? Time over the top. Yeah. It gets salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. This goes in I've the never oven. Seen that. For how long? And it goes in the oven for anywhere yeah. between, depending yeah. on on the the. the the water content anywhere from from 20 minutes to two hours really, really? slow in the oven wow. and you'll see as this starts to roast the liquid will start coming out and you pour it off and then it, this will roast and get really dried out uh, wow. not, not not dry where it's crispy but dry okay and then yeah. we do a salsa verde um, parsley some shallots some capers a little garlic and Onions, then a and, uh, and and so this is also acid now if you do this in advance mm -hmm. right don't add the vinegar because it'll turn it brown, ah. okay? So you want to add that last second, but in this case, we're just gonna do it last yeah. second. Put the olive oil in now. The other thing is, we put the top on, but we take this guy off. We turn cover it. Well, we turn it on somehow. There we go. Pour this in while it's spinning. Come on. There you go. Trust me, everybody's like, come on. Go. You come can on. do it. You can do it. Anyway. We get, the, yeah, we, we get the idea. It'll come out like that. Um, and then we just put a, a piece of burrata over the top. Now, for and now the, the cheesy crunch. goodness. The, the crunch, cheesy goodness. Cheesy goodness. I, I moved a little bit away from the, the puffs and made my own. So this is called a frico. Little Parmesan, little Parmesan grate it. You spread it out, put it in the oven for about five or ten minutes, depending, again, on your oven, um, to get really crispy over Those the top. Those are so easy and good to make. Mm. Easy and good to make. Yes, a little sir. salsa verde around it. And you have some delicious that goodness. That looks delicious. And that's Man. it. You know what? You can. You so. A, that you, make it look so easy. you make it look so easy. It's not even fair. Well, it's not man. fair. All of these dishes look fantastic, and the new season we cannot wait for. Thank you. Wisconsin, here we come. Wisconsin. All right. Thanks, Thank you guys for coming. Yeah, and if thanks. you want these cheesy good recipes, go to GoodMorningAmerica.com. And the new season of Top Chef premieres March 20th on Bravo. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.